professional in a male dominated industry uh, was never going to be an easy ride. I've always been aware of that, but it's always something that I want, wanted to pursue. I always wanted to teach kickboxing, I always wanted to be a part of martial arts, I always wanted to be a fighter. And when I started, for the most part, sometimes I'd be in a classroom and I'd be the only girl. Now you go and like the ratio can sometimes be even, and even times there's more women than guys. But it doesn't change the fact that it's a male dominated industry. And I wanted to give my tips and advice to other females who have aspirations of being a professional and succeeding in a male dominated industry. And I will start with uh, business relationships with other men. And I have business relationships with guys that I've had for many years and I couldn't tell you what they look like. And the reason I couldn't tell you what they look like is because I've never met them in person. Um, I communicate and liaise with them via email or telephone, which I think is very appropriate because it protects you as a woman. Um, another one is with my male clients, I do my utmost best to stay professional. Um, I always find, I don't know why, but I do know why, uh, men, more than women, always try and instigate a conversation as to women. Um, it's pretty obvious, so try your best to not get involved in any friendships with guys uh, that are your clients, so just be professional. Um, I say that about women, like I just literally try to be professional all the time with all my clients because I don't really have the time to entertain friendships and things like that, so I just think being professional is the best option. I'm not saying don't be friendly, you can be friendly and professional, but I try not to get tangled in that. Um, another one is maintaining uh, morals and principles for long-term success. Uh, I see it all the time and I get really disappointed uh, to be a female when I see women uh, selling themselves short for short-term success um, around guys in a male-dominated industry. Um, to earn respect and to maintain success, it's important to have morals, principles and maintain yourself correctly. Um, what other tips could I give you? Stand your ground. Um, guys will always try and walk over a woman because they're a woman, especially if you don't have a husband or you don't have a partner. Um, people will try and walk over you, people will intimidate you, people will, I say people, I'm talking about guys here, guys will actually do this, I've experienced this. Um, it doesn't faze me because I know what I want, uh, I know my skill set's valuable, I know I'm capable and I'm committed. And it's easy to intimidate certain women, like um, some women are easily intimidated, but it's not possible because I'm very skilled in what I do and I'm just not faced. I've seen enough of life for, I've seen enough in life to be able to overcome obstacles and people. So stand your ground, stay resilient and committed. Another tip of advice I could give you is to, hmm, what can I say? Yeah, just really maintain who you are as a woman. Like, it's so common for women to let themselves go, like, sell themselves short. When you get into industries, you'll really see what they're about. Another tip I would give you is to seek to connect with professionals in their right way. I feel really privileged because all the guys that I know, um, I don't sit with them at a dinner table. I don't go with them for coffee. I don't meet with them. Um, regular, I don't see them, but they're a phone call away. When you carry yourself correctly and when you see success in a male dominated industry long term for yourself and not for the sake of getting yourself uh, somebody out of the industry for your own reasons, for yourself, and when you seek success solely because you want it, um, you'll begin to develop huge success. You'll begin to find the right people and I feel really privileged because like 
I know so many people in my industry just from being myself and from carrying myself properly and having respect for myself and treat, treating people nice and being likeable. Um, so I have a phone book. I have loads of connections in my industry. Um, I don't sit with them every day. I don't have dinner with them. Some people have never ever met because it's not necessary to meet, but they're a phone call away. And I think that's what business is about, is being connected in your industry to the point where if you need something, it's only a phone call away. It's not about anything else. It's being good at what you do and being connected to the people like yourself. And if there's any other aspects I haven't covered, because I know this video is very brief, but just send me a message if you're a woman and you want to seek success in a male-dominated industry and you don't know where to start or you're unsure of certain things, then drop me a message. I'm always here to support the women who seek success in the correct way. Peace out. If you like my content, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And if there's a topic that you would like me to cover, drop a comment in the comment section. If you want to be featured on the channel, then drop me an email. It's in the description below. Thank you.